Right, so we just added a great new feature to Journalist. I want to go over exactly what it is and what it does. So if you go here to your dashboard, of course, and click on Generate Articles, you know by now you have the Simple Mode, Titles Mode, and now you have a third one called the Preset Mode, which I'll show you in just a second. Now, the Simple Mode will allow you to have an in insert a URL, a description, and it would generate articles based on these two inputs. The Titles Mode will allow you to have your um, article title, or multiple titles, and again, it would generate content based on the titles you give it. The preset mode allows you to go a step further, right? You can, of course, choose your preset here and the number of articles you want to generate. But the thing here is that you can create custom presets, which is exactly what I'm going to show you how to do right now. So if we click on create preset right here, and let's call it uh, my site about rockets, right? Now, these first two inputs are similar to the input on the simples mode and the titles mode, right? Let's say again say my site is about rockets and let's say this website talks about how to build a small rocket to play with your kids, right? Pretty straightforward, you can play with this if you want. You can also play with this however you like it. Now that's the content part, right? Now with the preset, there's a lot more customization here. You can automatically add internal links and external links. And I've explained this in the past. Essentially, let's say this is your rocket site. Let's call it RS. You have a bunch of different blog posts right here, right? You have a bunch of them posted on your blog right here. Now, if we open up one of them, let's just open it right here. This is an individual blog post. It has your featured image, your title, your table of contents, a bunch of content. Let's say it has images, it has more content, it has videos, right? The standard uh, article, right? Now, what these two things, this internal linking and external linking setting allow you to do is to automate internal and external links. So internal linking is essentially when you link out from one blog post to the other, and from this one to this one, and from this one to this one. And this is on-page SEO standard best practices, right? And you can automate this by essentially adding in your sitemap right here. External linking is more or less the same thing, but instead of linking out to or linking into your own blog posts, you link out to other authoritative sources in your niche. Let's say, for example, Wikipedia, or for example, if your website is about uh, technology, you can link out to TechCrunch. You can link out to Bloomberg if your website is about finance, right? You get the point. These two settings right here allow you to automate your internal and external linking. And we can even do a test right here. Let's say this is my website, for example, curateanything.com, and I wanna have it add internal links. So I want that these articles right here interlink between each other. So what I need to do is get the sitemap. Now this will vary, vary from site to site, but if it is WordPress, it's more or less the same thing. What you do is I recommend you get this plugin called Vetted SEO Helper, right? It's pretty straightforward and what this does is it shows up right here and you can click it and then go to files and then go to special and your sitemap URL should show right here. You click it, right? And what you need to give journalists right here is the sitemap for the posts, right? So if you go to our sitemap, it should look something like this. If you click here, you're gonna see all your posts right here. And this is exactly what you wanna feed journalists and that's exactly what we're gonna, we're gonna paste in here. Now, I can show you another, another example right here. If I go to this website right here, I'll connect, I'll co, and then just go to the little plugin right here I just showed you before, go to files, go to special, this sitemap is going to be a bit different, but it's similar, right? It's the post sitemap, which in this case it is post-sitemap. Here it was different, it was WP sitemap post. So there are some differences, but they're more or less all the same. And again, you can just use a plugin like this, a free plugin, or you can just go on Google and type in for um, XML sitemap uh, viewer and just add your URL and you should be able to get it, right? Now this again will allow us to automatically have new articles we generate automatically interlink between old articles we've generated, right? Now, external linking again, we can do, for example, Wikipedia. Let's say we wanted to link out to Wikipedia. We could do this. Let's say we wanted to link out to vetta.com, right? Uh, actually, let's do spacex.com because that's a more, that's a link in the actual niche, right? Where we're targeting, we're targeting the rockets niche, right? So Wikipedia, you could link out to a page with Wikipedia about rockets or SpaceX, the actual uh, homepage, right? Let's say we wanna add some stock photos and let's this enable in article images and then we have the preset created. Click on create preset and your preset will be created. Now you can go back here to the generate articles and click on preset mode, right? 
again before you can just generate articles like this or like this now with the preset mode you just go here select the preset we just created which was the my side about rockets and let's just do five articles and then click generate now again what the preset mode allows you to do is have a lot more freedom a lot more customization right you can have the generate articles in any language you want, right? You can have them generate based on the content you gave it. You can have internal images, sorry, you can have uh, in article images, you can have internal links, external links, you can have all these little extra layers of customization, right? And then on top of this, if you set up an integration with WordPress or any other, any other CMS, we're gonna add Shopify soon, weeks soon as well. You can set up an auto blog so that it will automatically every single day generate articles and post them automatically to your blog right with the preset you just created right and that preset can have internal links and external links and then we'll build them on autopilot so you just imagine a world where you have a blog that's automatically populated with articles right every single day is going to build out let's say three articles right and all these articles are going to automatically be interlinked between each other in a way that makes sense and of course they will also external link and have external links to authoritative sources, right? Again, this is our article right here, featured image, um, uh, the title right here, table of contents, introduction. Um, we have the internal name images right here, uh, in article images. And as you can see right here, we have our first link right here, uh, becoming a part of a volunteer edited encyclopedia of knowledge and expertise, right? If you click it, this should link out to Wikipedia. So the external links built out here are built in a way that makes sense, right? These links make sense. For example, this one right here, rockets are fascinating ventures, right? And this is linking out to an internal link, right? As you can see here, this is linking out to an internal link, right? If we scroll down here more, a bit more, this one links out to SpaceX, right? An external link. So again, all of this, all this article, which has featured images, in article images, has internal links, external links. So all of them built out in a way that makes sense, right? We make sure that we read your content and add contextual in article or external or internal links based on the URLs you just gave us, right? So again, all this can be done with the presets. You can go here and add your preset if you want. You can add more external links if you like, or you can change the sitemap so you can link out to different in article or different internal uh, pages, right? So that's essentially how the preset works. And again, if you go to integrations right here and connect either one of your uh, WordPress websites, you can connect unlimited ones, and then go to auto blogs. You can have it so, let's just add a new auto blog. Let's just do our site about rockets. You can choose the preset you just added, right? Have it generate 20 articles every single day. Uh, let's just put it, post it on this one and enable it and then create a new auto blog. Again, what this will do is you, you will, on this URL right here, it's gonna post multiple, in this case, 20, articles every single day based on the preset you just gave it. In this case, our preset is called My Side About Rockets. And this preset has all the internal links we just saw, the external links, the in-article images and all that. So it's pretty powerful. That's how the new preset feature works. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll catch you on the next one.